All right, on this week's Parts Plus Motorsports Moment, I'm here with the man that calls the shots, my longtime friend, longtime crew chief. And a lot of you folks have been asking, what are the guys doing up on the starting line when I back up from the burnouts? And Mike is going to kind of go into some of the details of part of it. A lot of you have been asking about a fuel system, so we're going to go into part of it. Exactly what are we going to tell everybody about today? We're going to tell everybody what the barrel valve is and what it does. Perfect. All right, folks, this is the barrel valve, and this is what Mike's going to tell us about today. So, Mike, what is it? What does it do? Well, the barrel valve is the engine's fuel metering valve. Um, the primary use of the barrel valve is to give us our idle circuit and give us our wide open circuit. We're lucky in that we don't get to drive this thing around, so all we have to worry about is doing a burnout and going wide open. So the barrel valve consists of inlet fuel lines, which are these two fuel lines. We're going to remove these two fuel lines. The other fuel lines on the barrel valve are our idle returns. These have fuel in them. They're coming out of the barrel valve and back to the fuel pump while we're idling because the engine cannot use all of the fuel that the fuel pump makes while we're idling. So the idle returns run through these check valves. These check valves are set to a magical pressure, which we cannot tell you. <laughs> so what, what does the check valve do? So the check valve, um, it gives us our high side. It tells us, right, well, tells the engine how, how much fuel we want at, at launch um, at, on the main circuit. Now there's a secondary idle circuit that we control for, control for launch, which we'll show you that. That's, that's called the idle screw. Uh, we're gonna show you that in a minute. So you mentioned the high side, so I guess we probably need to explain kind of what the fuel system's doing for startup and burnout. Well, when we start the engine, we only need a small amount of fuel, like I mentioned before, to idle and to do the burnout. And that's controlled by the driver. He sets it to a, a predetermined idle fuel flow and pump pressure. So the handle in the cockpit that the driver controls will set the fuel pressure um, and uh, the dashboard tells the driver what the fuel pressure and idle fuel flow is. One of the things that's, that's uh, very unique and different about a barrel valve, a uh, metering valve on a, on a top fuel dragster is that it's, it's basically intended to be either at idle or wide open. It's as much like an electric switch as we can make it without it being, being electric. Um, uh, the engine idles on a really small hole that none of you can see on TV. And Clay, you'll bring the camera around to the back. So we're idling on a small amount of fuel in this hole that you can see. And you can see that this hole quickly goes away as we open the barrel valve. Now you'll see that there's nothing in the way of the fuel. It goes straight into the engine. And so that's what you mean by saying it's basically a light switch. It's basically so I'm back a, up a little bit. It's basically can... a light switch. Over here on this side, you can see the idle returns. And as soon as the idle returns are blocked off, then all the fuel has to go in the engine, even though it's not wide open. And as you can see right there, all the fuel's going in the engine. And you can look at the butterflies and see the butterflies are really not open that far. So at yeah. that point, that, at this point right here, all, all, all of the fuel is going in the engine, even though the butterflies are open a small amount. That's so cool. We're trying to get the fuel to beat the air. <laughs> that is really cool. So at this point where I'm looking, I can see the small hole and then I can see the slot. So at this point, the, I, the checks that you showed us are... Uh, the checks, work. checks are working in, in only during the idle portion. Um, when, when, these, when these ports are open to the check valves, uh, they're allowed to set, set the fuel pressure of the, of the idle circuit. And then at wide open, those check valves don't come into play. They're not part of the wide open circuit in any way. All right, so when this thing goes wide open, you can see that it is that light switch that Mike's talking about. 
hit the throttle there, Mike, and you can see that hole open up as soon as that throttle blade opened. The light switch effect. Now, one of the most obvious things that you see all the crew chiefs do is we'll generally have an idle fuel flow that keeps the engine at just the right temperature, not too cold and not too hot. But when we go up to launch, we like to make the engine a little bit richer. It's uh, something that we want to have some additional control over. The idle screw on the back of the barrel valve allows us to richen the engine by turning the screw out or to lean the engine a little bit by turning the screw in. And you can see I have some color-coded marks for different days and different idle flows. Um, maybe even uh, a, a different car we might be racing might get a different, uh, different idle setting. And that idle setting, the crew chiefs, you and, and basically everybody else out there, is there something you see, something that makes you decide if you're riching or leaning the engine at the last moment? I mean, kind of what's your train of thought at the point when, you, when we are like literally about ready to stage the car is typically when that happens. Well, there's a wide variety of things that can happen up on the starting line. Um, it can, your opponent might be taking a little bit longer than normal. And so rather than letting your engine run a little longer and build a little more heat, you might turn your idle screw up a little bit to help keep the engine at the same temperature rather than allowing your opponent to control the temperature of your engine. So if someone takes a little longer, I can turn it up. Um, if our engine looks a little cold after it comes back from the burnout and uh, it sounds a, little, sounds a little cold, I can lean it down. If it sounds a little hot, I can turn it up and, and help to cool the cylinders a little bit. Um, it's a fine tuning tool. It can't make or break you, but it can help a situation. Uh, it, can, it can improve the performance of your race car. It's, it's about 10% of the idle circuit is the idle screw, so there's not a tr tremendous amount of adjustment. But the last 10% is controlled by the screw. So I always tell people that uh, it's kind of like, that screw is kind of like the squirter on a holly carburetor. Would that be a true statement? I've said that forever. Because it, it definitely is because on a, on, a, on a cold day, we're gonna turn it down. We don't need as much fuel. On a hot day, we're gonna turn it up because we need more fuel. That might not be the same that would happen in a holly, but it's, it definitely can richen the engine and give you a little extra power uh, like a squirter, like a power valve and a carburetor. So one other thing that, that is on here that I, I want to ask about is I see this little fitting right here exactly what does this do we well, talked about all the other lines well the, this is our this is our fuel pressure line this is a quick disconnect line that line now can handle the 750 pounds of pressure that the fuel pump makes when we go down the racetrack um, and then to take to take it apart quickly now we've got the line off and uh, the guys wish they had these on all of the lines but uh, no such fitting exists that can uh, give us the flow that we need and not be egregiously heavy. So essentially that is a data gathering port. It's this, this well, it all goes to the dash also. It tells <laughs> the driver what's happening. It goes to a, a, a pressure channel transducer um, that's displayed on the dash. So where did the barrel valve originate? Kind of where, where did that, that piece that we're looking at, well, I mean, this, going this, way back, what, what did the top fuel cars use compared well, to what we have right now? Well, they, they've used a much smaller um, device that essentially does the same thing without some of the wonderful features this has. Um, used to be one idle check return, one fuel line going in, no thumb screw to adjust the idle. You had to have more check valves. If you had a high and low system on your, on your, your, in your race car, you would have to have four check valves instead of the two check valves that we have right now you would have low side check valves high side check valves and a, and a spool valve that allowed you to be on one or the other so the a lot of the fuel system is a, a mechanically simpler than it used to be um, this barrel valve was um, designed originally by pete jackson in uh, burbank california uh, Pete was a, uh, a longtime drag racer. Uh, Pete also did some uh, racing on the dry lake beds. Uh, Pete was a um, 
a real live rocket scientist. He worked at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, so uh, he did that in the slide rule day. So uh, Pete's, Pete's passed uh, several years ago. Pete and I were very good friends. This current barrel valve is really the product of all the things that we did in development when I was with Don Perdome in the uh, late 80s. Uh, we wanted an idle screw like a motorcycle had so that we could easily richen the engine up so that every time you wanted to richen the engine at idle, you had to change a check valve. So we wanted a screw so we could stop fooling around with the idle checks all the time. And uh, that's where the screw came from. Pete's idea to have the balanced idle return ports allowed the driver to have better reaction times. The barrel valve became much easier to open because we were putting too much pressure on the barrel valve with a single idle return. So Pete Jackson fixed a lot of the problems uh, that the old original Enderly barrel valve had. Um, so he, he made his own. Um, and this is what everybody uses. This is the same exact barrel valve that's on all the rest of the race cars that run a top fuel and funny car. So one other quick question is, this basically is, goes all the way through the barrel valve. And so the connection from here to the injector has got to be pretty critical, I would think. Well, it, it, it is. Um, there's a spool inside the barrel valve, and uh, we've shown you how the spool rotates inside. And there are some critical timing elements of the spool to the butterflies, and that's controlled with the, with the barrel valve linkage. So we'll use some feeler gauges to put the spool in a, in a, in a certain place and turn the butterflies up to um, a 4,000th feeler gauge that we use in the idle slot. So we um, make sure that the idle slot is, is completely closed and we use a feeler gauge to set that. So that's, that's what this is for. Connects the barrel valve to the, to the butterflies, which is connected to the gas pedal. And that's what we like to do, stomp on that loud pedal.